Welcome back to Afternoon Express. Now, before the break, we told you that we're going to get started with these incredible party brownies. Sounds like my kind of party. How do we get started? Exactly. I think the most exciting thing about it is that everything's done in a pot. Amazing. So when you have a dinner party, <laughs> that's why I call them party brownies, then yeah. you can get everything done. So what we've started doing over there... They're not party brownies. No, 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 no. Party, like party. Okay. Yes. So you can just bring that pot over here for us, okay. please, because you're going to be the official mixer. Okay. Um, we've just started off by melting the butter, and then we put the chocolate inside. So there's butter and chocolate in here. Yes. Perfect. You can see it's beautiful, exactly. it's glossy. The aroma is I know. just to just want to lick that out the bowl. So next, what we're going to do is we're going to put the salati cast the snow. The thing is, this is super fine, so it gets incorporated very easily into the warm liquid. Okay, great. So we're just going to put that in, and you can mix that up first. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put the eggs in. Yes. The most important thing is to keep stirring when you put the eggs. Otherwise, you're going to have a little bit of scrambled eggs in your brownie, which is not going to be nice. So you can just carry on going, and I'm going to pour these in. Okay, I'm going to move it. I'm going to move the pot over here so we can all see exactly what's going yes. on. So there's our chocolate, our castor snow, our eggs. Yes. So you can just mix oh. that in. Now I'm going to put the vanilla extract for a little bit of extra flavour. Okay. And then now and I'm going to beat these eggs yes, into it. You've like got to beat it, girl. More, okay. more, more. Yeah. <laughs> you got to put your back into it. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> I'm just putting cashews in, but you can choose any nuts you want. I okay. just love cashews. Yeah. And then the last Could you part, put Turkish Delight in here? You totally can put whatever oh my you want. Turkish Delight, you can put mint leaves, you can put little bits of jelly babies if you want to, whatever you want Amazing. to Amazing. Then the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to put the flour in. Okay. And it's very important to not mix it too much when you have the flour in. So I've got to fold. Is, yes, you've got okay. to fold it. So I'm going to give fine. you a spatula. You can get rid of the whisk. <laughs> and then I'm just going to sprinkle this in for you. And I'm folding. Yes. Okay, cool. You're going a little bit fast. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, why is this so that it comes out fluffy? Yes, and the thing is, if you're going to overwork your flour, your browns are going to be dry. It's okay. pretty much as simple as that. And I think the other thing is always to make sure that you're making brownies the night before. So they have that nice, fudgy, cakey delicious. Okay, so you don't serve brownies on the day that you make them? No, I don't. Okay. I definitely don't. Well, even when they're warm and fresh out of the oven, it's not a good option? You see, the thing is, as soon as you cut a brownie that's out of the oven, it's going to start crumbling. Okay. And no, that's just a no-no. No. Okay, day after. The day after brownies, exactly, that's what we're doing. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> um, so now, what I like to do is I like to have a square tin. Because yeah. I love corners. I'm like that kind of girl. I'm like, I like the crispy edges. You see, I'm exactly the same. <laughs> really? I only ever eat the corner ones. The middle ones, oh, yeah. They're like extra, they're like extra fudge, which is amazing. Yes. But I'm like, I want that little bit of crunch on the yeah, outside. Yeah, definitely. So I like to use a square one. If you don't have a square one, you can use two cake tins as well. Ooh. It also works. Okay. I mean, I think I've done a fantastic job no, here. That's if I do say so myself. <laughs> do you want me to pour it in for yes, you? Yes, please. Oh, wow. No, this is looking really good. Like, I'm so proud of myself, actually. You're, like, going home to make party brownies. Yeah. <laughs> it just so happens the day I'm making brownies for movie stars, it turns out perfectly. <laughs> I'll hold you can scrape. I mean, that's a good job, hey? Exactly. Pev, you can just see all the nuts there, which are going to go all nice and delicious. And so nice what we do now is we just bake it at 180 for 40 minutes. Super simple, Oy. super easy. And, mm. and now you want to lick it. I no, can see you no, like... That part <laughs> is there to be licked by me a little bit later. <laughs> okay. okay. That so, goes into the oven, baked at 180. For, for how long? 40 minutes. For 40 minutes. Yes. And then the magic of TV. Ta-da! We have it all done for you. <laughs> it's like... Ah. Okay, so then this is where the important part comes in. And I think that this is what makes it different to a normal brownie, is you want to make them a smaller shape. Because okay. it's like two little bites, you're done. done. Party brownie, bites. Yeah, elegant little topping. Exactly. Bites. Perfect. So what I've, I've decided is like, I'm like, the more variety, the better. So yeah, I'm course. like, add whatever you want to add to it. Okay. And before we do the toppings, we're going to just talk about the ganache. Okay. So ganache is like, obviously, it's very simple. It's just chocolate and cream, but it's all to do with how you do it. So you need to heat the cream and you need to scald it, which means to have little bubbles around the pot. Once that's at, at that stage, then you just pour it over chopped chocolate. And you have to, I know it's a mission, but you have to chop your chocolate. Yes, of course. Because if you put it in whole, it's not going to mix, and then you're going to have lampy ganache, which okay. you don't want. No, 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 no. And then this is what it is. Yes. Okay. 
and then in a piping bag and we just go yes. for it. Do you, want it. do you want a pipe? Okay, so you yeah. have to hold it like this, twist the top. So okay. you can hold there. I'm sure I've done this before, but I keep on forgetting how. So now like you've got a pressure. Yes, that's perfect. Is that it? Okay, you're a pro. You got this. Yes. Oh, okay, and then what happens after this? So after this, we put on our toppings yeah. and then we just put them in the fridge for five to ten minutes just to set the ganache. Oh, this is amazing. You definitely want to make this at home. It is absolutely sensational. I wish I could, you know, let you know how beautiful the <laughs> smells in here. The aroma is sensational and they look like they're going to be extra tasty too. Perfect for movie stars. <laughs> so now if you want all of the details for this, the keyword is Salati. All you need to do is SMS the word Salati to double three six five two. Um, 650 33650 SMS Salati to 33650 SMS the uh, keyword obviously which is Salati uh, SMS is cost one rand fifty each T's and C's apply and free SMS's do not apply and all you need now is to have a look at our recap Begin by putting your butter into a pot and allow it to melt completely Once melted turn off the heat and add your chopped chocolate and whisk until melted once the chocolate has melted, pour in sugar and add your vanilla essence before whisking to bring the mixture together. Whisk eggs together into the mixture one at a time until everything is combined. Fold the flour and nuts into the chocolate mixture. Pour into lined baking tin and bake at 180 degrees for 40 minutes and then cool on a wire rack. Make the ganache by adding chopped chocolate to a bowl placed over boiling water until the chocolate has melted. In a saucepan, heat the cream, vanilla and salt. Once it comes to the boil, pour into the chocolate and refrigerate until cool. Cut your brownies into squares and pipe on chocolate ganache. For a full list of ingredients and a link to the recipe, SMS Salati to 33650, 1.50 in SMS and no free SMSs apply. Visit afternoonexpress.co.za for more info.